beginning, but in uh, lending in Russia, in, in Russian in language. Russian. Everything about the, the mask. Yeah, how to put the mask, how to clear the room, how to close the room, and what to do in the room. OK, Linda, I'm going to bring Linda Scherzer over with some chemical anti-chemical weapons. Would you explain what we have here? I will. First of all, I want to assure people that the reason that we've been told to take off our gas masks in Jerusalem is obviously because uh, there are no missiles that have landed here, and the Army uh, has, with the information. has considered that it, uh, it is safe enough uh, that we do this now. Uh, but I do want to tell you that as uh, people who live in Israel, we all went through the training session on what to do in the event of a chemical gas attack. This is uh, the atropine injection that we're told uh, to use in case we feel the effects of a gas attack, dizziness, nausea. Uh, we're told that we're supposed to inject it into our thigh, uh, and after that is done to put the, uh, the needle, to put the needle uh, into Pull our out. shirt collar, to go out into the street, uh, to let people know that we actually have injected ourselves with atropine. That's the atropine. This, this is one. the atropine Speaking injection. Speaking your shirt after you've injected yourself. This is the atropine. You pull, he wants you to come in tight to show this. If you could hold this mic, Linda. The atropine injection, you pull this little yellow handle, the needle comes out of this end. Then if you could follow me down, Andre, you pull a tourniquet around your leg and you stick it in your leg to inject yourself. It will dehydrate you, but it will take the uh, gases out of your system. This is atropine injection. Okay, Linda, uh, back wide, please. The next uh, item in, in our box was the, uh, the, the powder that we were supposed to put on our arms, uh, any exposed area of the body, uh, to keep it on for a few seconds and then just to flick it off with these gauze pads. Uh, that is supposed to take care of uh, any chemical gas that gets on the skin. Um, beyond that, uh, we've just been told to stay in our sealed rooms, uh, but of course, where we're standing, uh, we've been told that it is safe enough uh, for us to keep our gas masks off and. Uh, to just prepare and to listen to Israeli radio and uh, uh, to make sure that we're ready uh, for a change of status. Larry okay. and Linda, Larry and Linda, yes. how, how yes. do you know when to use that uh, material and how do you know how long a mask will last once you put it on? Linda, uh, David French wants to know how and when do we know when to use this material and how long will it last once we keep it on. I'll let you answer this question. Well, David, I'm told that we will know uh, that we will actually be feeling the effects of the chemical gas, that we will actually be feeling uh, the nausea and the dizziness and uh, other symptoms of which I'm not uh, completely aware. But uh, when it comes time to use this injection, we will know it. Uh, the talcum powder is used, of course, when you start to feel a burning sensation on your skin. I should uh, let you know also that uh, because we want to be able to report this story, uh, to go out into the street, uh, to get pictures uh, so that we can show you exactly what's happening here, we've all uh, been provided uh, by our network with uh, chemical gas suits, which you've already seen uh, worn by soldiers out in the desert. Uh, so in the event uh, that uh, a gas attack uh, does come here, uh, we will be prepared to go out into the streets to cover it. They were asking about the, how long the canisters last on the gas mask. My understanding is 30 to 45 minutes for each canister. Well, that's uh, conflicting information. I've heard that uh, you can actually uh, keep the mask on for several with, hours. With one canister, with each canister, how, before you have to change canisters. Uh, I, I, again, we are provided with one canister, and I'm told that that is good for several okay, hours. Okay, good. That's your answer, David, on the canister and on, on when to use these... Uh, Okay, Larry, He's, uh, different. Yes. Larry, I'd like to ask you to pass on one message uh, from James Blackwell, my military analyst here. He said that yes. Linda is obviously a very good soldier.